The Pennsylvania native accused of killing four University of Idaho students appeared in court today to face the charges against him. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News First at Four. I'm Evan Forrester. 28-year-old Brian Koberger is charged with the stabbing deaths of four young victims back in November of last year. And today he stood silent in an Idaho courtroom in front of the victims' families and plenty of media. Fox 43's Lisa Kratz here now to break down today's hearing and what happens next. Yeah, and Evan, this really went as a lot of people expected it to. Koberger invoked his Fifth Amendment right, staying silent as that judge entered a not guilty plea on his behalf for all five charges he's facing. This now means the case will proceed to trial, which is tentatively set to start October 2nd. And when it does, it's expected to be a lengthy one. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Any questions about the rights? No. The few words spoken by Brian Koberger on Monday morning during his arraignment in Lataw County, Idaho. When asked for his plea, the 28-year-old suspect stood silent, leading the judge to enter him into a not guilty plea on four counts of first-degree murder and one count of burglary. Johnny Jones III, president of Dickinson College and a former federal judge who has followed this case, says Koberger has the legal right to stay quiet. It really is uh, not uh, an issue uh, if, if a defendant uh, chooses to, to not speak uh, and not enter a plea. Koberger is charged with the murders of 20-year-old Ethan Chapin, 21-year-old Kaylee Gonsalves, 20-year-old Zanna Kernodal, and 21-year-old Maddie Mogan. The four University of Idaho students were found stabbed to death in an off-campus home the morning of Sunday, November 13th. Koberger was arrested at his parents' Poconos home on December 30th. A preliminary hearing was originally scheduled for next month, but was canceled after a grand jury indicted Koberger last week. So I think it's probably more a case where um, the prosecution didn't want to show its hand, didn't want to give up the evidence at this stage. Families of the victims were present during Koberger's arraignment Monday. A trial is set to begin October 2nd of this year. But Jones says to not be surprised if that date gets pushed back. It would be very surprising to me if the case went to trial this year. Uh, actually, I think it'll be pushed out uh, quite some time, uh, unless he insists on a sooner trial. But, but that would be a mistake on his part. Now, when Koberger's trial does start, it's expected to last at least four to six weeks. It's possible he could be sentenced to death if he's convicted by a jury. Lataw County prosecutors have 60 days from today to decide whether or not they will seek the death penalty. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.